Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain 2 modded. We're jumping in again. This time we'll be checking out Rocket. I've been randomizing to see who we're gonna, like, see what kit we're gonna take, see what we're gonna look like, and I'm just gonna leave it on random. I'm just gonna let it go, and then we're gonna jump straight into a run. Uh, let's take a look at our kit. We have Blast Off. Your explosion can be used to blast jump. Rocket jumping. Lovely. We got the HG4 Sam Launcher. Um, fire a heat-seeking missile with a small blast radius that deals a lot of damage and hold multiple. Very nice. Um, detonate all explosives. Detonated rockets gain extra damage and blast radius. Kind of interesting. A bombing run. Um, stunning. And it swings your explosive shovel at enemies um, for extra damage. Deals critical while blast jumping. Oh my god, it's the market gardener. That's amazing. And then we've also got the rapid rearm. Rapidly fires four rockets, then reloads our weapon. Okay, I'm down for this. Market Gardener from Team Fortress 2. My god, I played a hell of a lot of soldier from TF2, so I am down for this. Also, oh my lord, we got the void version of this area. That's kind of cool. But yeah, love the idea of a character like this. Oh, he's even got the little... He's even got the little leg movements as well while you're in the air. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Right, let's try the... Okay, so the rocket fires all of those. Dude, this this stage looks wild when it's void touched. It's crazy. So if we do that... Ooh, yeah, that's very nice. Okay, they've got herming as well. I didn't realize they had herming. That's really nice that we can detonate it a little bit before it touches to get a bit more damage off. That's really nice. And then we've got the up arrow... But, if we really want to do something, we've got to go like that, and then slam with our shovel. It's going to be a little difficult to get a hit off with that, but... Oh, I I've got to get the timing right. Also, my mouse sensitivity is a little low for rocket jumping, to be fair. Oh, my God. Ah, damn it. The, the, the recharge on the shovel is actually kind of long. Oh, the timing on it is kind of difficult. But I, I, I will get a market garden to hit off on some bosses, I promise. Honestly, the, the detonation thing is what I'm really looking forward to here. Right, let's try to actually get some, some stuff opened up, shall we? I don't know what that is over there. That looks new to me. Let's crack this bad boy open. Try to dagger's not bad. Ah, it's heresy. I don't want the shrine of heresy, I don't think. What we got going on down there? Can I do a... Yes, I can. I can do a stall. Very nice. I can do like a bunny hop rocket jump. I like that. Ah, you got to be kind of further away from the wall. Hey, <laughs> there you go, baby. There you go. I did it. Okay, right. Keep reloading. Put <laughs> ah, oh, it bopped me away. This is this is a really fun character. This I like this a lot. This is really cool. That seems to blast me really far. Um, I'll take whatever this is. Seems like healing of some kind. Yes, periodically after the teleporter event. Act activating. Okay, nice. Oh, got a crit there. Oh, can we get random crits as this guy? Or is that just, I don't know. That, that's probably a random crit, right? Ah, the, the range on the shovel is actually not very forgiving. So we are going to have to get used to that. Uh, well, let's, let's make our way around here. Dude, this stage looks amazing. Looks so wild. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Really cool. It's a little hard to like get them the right momentum. There you go. That's more like it. We we'll probably go check up here now. Like directly down obviously gives you the most height. Behind is what you want to be doing for speed. But it's a li little bit hard to get the timing and angle right. It's gonna take me some time I think to to get this going, but. We'll get some we'll get some cool yeets. Okay, we've got our teleporter event up here. Okay, this is perfect. We can go like that. There you go. Big guy gets demolished by that attack. I wonder how speed increases are gonna help you. I see a chest over there. I'm gonna go get that now. Damn, that the angle, you've gotta get just right. Ooh. We could do like a pretty pretty insane uh Shot with our R ability to get some height, I think. Right, one chest there. Slightly decrease the secondary cooldown. Grants heal upon using it. Nice. Our mouse too uh, doesn't have very high cooldown anyway, so this should be pretty good. 
And we get ourselves Rusted Key. Not anything incredible. Very nice. <laughs> Market Gardener, I fucking love it. It's amazing. Oh, this character might be literally my favorite character I've ever played. I do know that the soldier is playable. There is a there is a playable soldier. I'm gonna go and take um I realize I've got some decent items here. I'm gonna go and take two of these because this item's very strong. I doesn't matter, I took four. <laughs> I forgot we have the fast action. Yes! That'll never get old. That'll never get old. But yeah, I can I can do this to like gain some real fast pro uh, propulsion, which is quite nice. And it automatically reloads us back to full as well, so... It's, you can sort of wall climb, but it's not, not as easy as it is in TF2. But I think that's kind of okay. But yeah, this means our first hit, we take a lot less damage, uh, which is really nice. The oddly shaped opal, whatever it's called, is very good. Ah, uh, you've got to you've got to make sure you don't actually land, otherwise it's not gonna work. There we go. Hehehe, <laughs> the speed chicken gets pretty nice though. There might be some stuff down there as well, but I think I'm just gonna go do the teleporter event at this stage. <laughs> oh man, what a great character this is! What a great character this is! There you go. The, de the detonation effect is really nice too. Me making our items is pretty good here. I'll take that. I love the shiny rocks. Right. Market gardening the hell out of this boss is going to be fun. Right. Beetle Queen. That's, that's hilariously fun. Oh my lord. <laughs> That is incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm going to have to do a bit of an AoE thing going on here. What have we got going on here? Take less damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Amazing. I love the height that gives you as well. The height it gives you is incredible. Yeah, the timing for the detonation is kind of tough. Teleport event obviously is ready straight away. Well, let's go, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually check down here. I'm sure there was a chest or two down that way, but it's okay. We don't need to be searching literally every nook and cranny as long as we're uh, getting enough items to keep her going. Ooh, wow. This is a stage I haven't seen before. This is yeah. This is. I don't know what this. I don't know what this is from. Oh wait, is this is this a vanilla map? I don't recognize this at all. <laughs> um Stun would be kinda good, although backup magazine seems like it could be interesting. Yeah, being able to double detonate is pretty nice. Double detonation. Oh, roll of roll of pennies is incredible here. Yeah, the detonation thing's really, really useful. Yeah, Roll of Pennies is really good for getting more money. I like that, knocking them about. I'm gonna meme on you. Come here, you. <laughs> oh man, it's just as satisfying as it was in Team Fortress 2. Market gardening was, oh, the best. Increase regen breaks at low. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, we need a bit more damage to be able to one-shot things. What stage is this? I do not recognize it at all. <laughs> the amount of damage that does... It's, it's, it's def definitely like still hard to hit, but I'm getting used to it now. Right, let's look for some chests. We'll be able to see a few from up here. Oh, we got a void area down there? Didn't realise. Can we see the enemies that we need to kill from up here? There's one of them. We only need to kill seven. Six more, six more now. Okay, the homing is still like 
We can't just fire anywhere. Is that an enemy? I don't know what that is. Good, good. I don't know where the rest of these enemies are. I've got five more to kill. Well, there's one of them. You up there. Maybe they've ran away. So it's always plausible they just go somewhere else. They could be up there, to be honest. I don't see them anywhere inside the actual radius. Which is slightly concerning. We're going to get some cool void items, though. It's always fun. Right. Make our way up this way. I definitely like some movement speed increases as well. I think that would be very go very nicely with this guy. What the... What, where are these other four monsters? Realistically, where could they be? They must be miles away. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that guy. Okay, let's let, let's focus on other stuff for now. Oh, dude, I'm taking some damage. Boom! I'm getting a lot of money here from Roller Pennies as well. You can see that I've got quite a bit of change right now. I can stall myself from taking fall damage there. And we got, what's this here? Ah, that's something I have to give an item to. Is that a chest over there? That is. It's a health chest as well. We kind of need that. Gimme, gimme. Activating interactable creates a healing orb. Not bad. Where on earth are the rest of the Void Seed enemies? That seems like a good idea. Just firing from a distance of the crowd. That's a good thing about this guy as well. He doesn't seem to have any damage drop off, so... Wait, can I do this? Can I go... If I fire... Nah. If I fire and detonate... Oh, no, no, that does work. If I fire and detonate straight away, I can get a bit of a be better blast on myself. That's kind of nice. What's this thing? What? I'm very unsure what I just did there. But I uh, I died. And I created... I think I think I created this thing. Okay, we got it. Hmm. I'm confused by what I've done here. I, I, I created my, myself a false death. That's really nice, that, being able to do the detonate like that. Let's take a random item here. Slightly increased odds of chance base effects. Nice. We don't know where the teleporter is, so we don't have to worry about that. But I'm just curious about where these other four void seed enemies are. Is that a red item in there? What the hell? Good. Yeah, I don't, don't know where they are. I'm going to start opening stuff in here. There's something going on up there. That could be them. Who the hell are you? Massive armor by focusing your item build. I don't know what that means. But I'm going to assume what that means is that... Okay, I've almost... Wait, there's five of them now. There's more. Oh, because that, that thing created them, didn't it? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I'm guessing that means that when I have more of the same item... I gain more armor. This has kind of gotten away from me a little bit, this has. There's a lot going on here. Did I kill that thing? No, I didn't. There you go, got it. There's three left now. There's another one. Oop, the two more are over there. I do like being able to just fire at a distance. There you go. One more remains. Is it over there somewhere? Health isn't amazing right now, but our money's very good. We've taken too long on the stage, to be honest, I think. We've taken our sweet, sweet time. Right. On this bridge somewhere. Nah, I need to do that faster. Way faster than that. There you go. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. We've shut it down. I need to get the detonations going a bit more. The detonations are so valuable.
Okay. I think I messed up a little bit there. There's so many of these things. God damn. This is impossible. At least my health is fine. Right, what item is this? Corrupts all mustaches. Briefly stealth. Um, briefly stealth for a damage boost after killing powerful opponents. Nice. Okay. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. And another one. Yes. I will go with that. Right, I want to check what that thing is there first, and then we'll uh, we'll get out of here. Did, did I already check this? I don't remember. Maybe I did. Okay, it's nothing. It's precisely nothing. I love the curving rockets, man. Look awesome. <laughs> right, it's boss time. We're going to have to market garden the hell out of this thing. Clear Dune Strider. Luckily, it's, it is only one of them. Dude, that's so hard to like get the timing right on. I wonder if I get, like, Herpu Feathers, if I can keep myself in the air to market garden twice. I bet I can. I think this character is very, very good at killing bosses, to be fair. <laughs> I'm killing him through the healing. There you go. Got him. Okay, I just need to get, like... Dude, they keep bop, like bopping me around. Um, I need to just go. Boop. Ah, bugger hell! Can't the market gardening is so difficult when you've been shot at because it moves you around. Like the shots move you around. Well, the overcast version of this stage now. Hey, stop healing him, you. That's not your job right now. Don't make me market garden you. Oh, <laughs> did you see that rocket went right through his legs? Good, good, good. Okay. Let's look for stuff to use. Okay. Ukulele or poly poly loot, whatever it's called. Pretty useful for us right now. Got a gold shrine there. Here's a chest. And then we get ourselves increased health regen. That's fantastic. Health regen is incredibly valuable for us. Where are we going now? Oh, that detonation was perfect. It's when there's a big group from like that that you've got to get the detonations on. They just do, it just does so much. A hey, attack speed. I'm guessing that's how, how quickly we load our rockets back in. Very nice to see. And then, what are we going to go for here? Another Mimic. I like the Mimic ones. Mimic ones. We've got another Void thing over there as well. Lovely. Any chests up there I missed? Not by the looks of it. Ooh. Perfect opportunity, boys. <laughs> Guaranteed big damage, that is. And again there, baby. And again. Back once again. Back once again with the rocket jumps. Right, extra boss damage is always good. We'll take that. And we'll open this up as well. And then we'll go for a little market garden on you. And we'll hopefully kill these guys before they take over too many enemies. I saw one of them get away. There it is. Oh, it, took, it took over a pretty annoying enemy, to be honest. Oh, okay. I uh, I decimated you for some reason. I need to use my R ability more because it just re it reloads us as well. I'm forgetting that. And what we got going on here with this corrupted item? Focus crystals. Yes. Extra damage to enemies that aren't nearby is is actually very nice. Okay, I need to get up to you, but I don't think it's going to happen, is it? Beautiful. 
This has become quite chaotic right now. There you go, you're finally dead. You can tell when you get a nice market garden because it launches you so far. I didn't quite get it there, but still got the kill. No worries. Teleport is just here. Still plenty of chests to grab though, I think. Don't know what this is. I'll grab it and see. Reduce fall damage and convert, uh, remove damage to your next attack. Ooh, that's interesting for us. Nice. That's very interesting for us, in fact. I, I, like, I don't think we have fall damage anyways as this character, from what I can see. But it, it might be interesting if it still uh, does some stomping damage. A bit of head stomping. Another void item. Dude, there's so many void items at the moment. It's kind of crazy. Beautiful stuff. We are. And then that's some shield. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Shield is activated right now, so rather nice. What What is that down there? Let's go figure that out. What the hell's this? One drone. We do not have a drone right now. I do need to buy more drones. Unfortunately, you can stick your barrel for gun through walls, and it makes it hard to uh, makes it hard to climb walls. We got ourselves enemies drop extra gold. Love that. Excuse me, good sir. Boom bow. And we've got. Corrupts all delicate watches. Gain items at the start of the next stage. Breaks at random. Breaks a random item. Okay. That's very risky, but I like the idea. Ah. Uh. No. It Literally, I lost it instantly, and it broke all four of my goddamn herbals. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It broke a ton of stuff. Shattered. It broke like loads of stuff. Okay. Well that was that wasn't a great start. We'll do another we'll do another go of this. And we'll uh Right, let's 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 change these and actually have a look at them. We'll go with this one, and then I I can't I can't not take the market gardener. I can't not. Right, let's go again. Yeah, that that delicate watch thing there kind of screwed me over. I got distracted to be honest, and kind of wasn't really paying attention to how much damage I was taking. So now we have the regular rocket launcher that I don't think has herming. Yeah, it doesn't. I think it does a bit more damage. Ooh, and it launched enemies into the air as well. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. You didn't take as much damage as I thought you was going to. Boom. Okay, we can still take fall damage to this guy. Good to know. Touching enemies makes them vulnerable to your next attack. Kind of interesting. Not the best for us, but I'll take it. Yeah, not having Herming isn't quite as good, I don't think. But the rockets move slower with this, so they're easier to detonate, which is definitely good. Makes the detonation effect way easier. Oh. Right above the ice as well. Love that. Ooh, Shrine of the Mountain. Hell yes. I think we'll be taking that as well. Very much so. And then we'll take Focus Crystal this time for getting up close and personal. Got another chest down there. We are. We are. Yeah, Focus Crystal seems good for market gardening, I guess. Killing enemies multiplies Barrier Decay. There's a lot of Barrier Decay items in modding. A lot. We'll crack that open. Oh, we don't quite have enough yet, actually. But what we'll do is we'll go boom and Goomba Stomp. It's actually kind of a good traversal skill as well, because you can launch yourself up so high. Lovely. 
Oh my god. They, they're just the, the flow of this character. The flow of play is just so satisfying. It works so well in this game as well. High damage hits also grant barrier. Oh, dude. I think all of our hits are high damage hits, so... That's going to be good for barrier. I love it. I, I really want to get good at rocket jumping with this, guys. A little bit of a learning curve, and I haven't rocket jumped in a very long time. But active, and it didn't get an active last time, did we? Nice. Enter a drug-infused frenzy prescription. Don't actually know what this has done for us, but I'll take it. Oh, hello. It's you. I wasn't expecting you on the stage one. Oh, there's two of you. Dude, 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 dude. We're so fucked. Why was there two of you? What the hell? This is mental for stage one. The hell is this bullshit? This guy's such a hard boss for stage one. Oh, dude, I've got to go. I'm so screwed. That is a ridiculously hard boss to give on stage one. That guy should not be allowed to appear stage one at all. I don't really have a good way to heal either. Right, let's try and get above him. This is a good amount above. It's also a chest here. Can I open chests while the teleporter's going now? Has that been removed? That's actually good. I like that. <laughs> Teddy bear's gonna help. Oh, big boy chest here as well. Infusion's probably good here. Okay, one of them's dead at least. That's good. Okay, we are killing him pretty quick at least. Okay. Right, let's get the hell out of here because that was sketchy as all hell. We did get the soul thing, though. Fire a hot projectile every five primary uses. I got two of them as well. But did I activate a shrine in the mountain? Is that why there was two of them? I'm stupid. I forgot about that. <laughs> but I'm interested to see what this uh, this ability does. Now we've got two of them. Here we are in the sanctuary of the Twilight Sanctuary, this one. Ooh, speed. Yes. I think we fired it there, look. That we did like that thing there, look. You think you can jump around? Boom! No, you can't. Psych. I do the jumping around now. I do the jumping around. Hey, we got our Urple back. Right, I'm, I'm very happy to have some extra movement speed here. Oh man, it's so smooth, baby. I just don't have the, the mouse sensitivity to really take advantage. Ah, oh, I missed. God damn it. That was a very bad market gardener use. Boom. That was a much better one. Good, good, good. Oh man, this kit, it just all is so seamless. It just feels so Team Fortress, but also so Risk of Rain. <laughs> oh, I almost did it. I almost climbed the wall. I'll do it one day. 
Damn it! I just can't do it. No! No! <laughs> I won't go easily! <laughs> I'm not going! <laughs> there you go! I did- <laughs> I did that! Nice! Nah, you, you can't really do it so easily. Let's try and make our way up here, though. Yeah. Right, back up this way, because there's some stuff over here. Increase health regen, always valuable. No, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Okay, it kept us up here, at least. Man, I'm going to kill myself just for fall damage at some point, aren't I? Oh, hello there, sir. Oh, man. I don't think anything will ever be as satisfying as that in this game. Right, what we got going on here? Corrupts all sharp anchors. Increased damage while in the air. Oh, wow. That seems pretty good for us. Right. We did 182 there. Oh, yeah, that was a lot more, but that was a crit, though. Yeah, we do, we do quite a bit more. Right, what's this? I don't know what that is, but I, I'd rather keep the thing I've got going on right now. Let's get to flying. Anything up here for us? Beautiful. Almost got frozen. There's a chance to try it up here. I'll take that at least. I've come all, all this way. I might as well. Really? Wow. Four. Four uses. Nothing. I definitely need more fire rate to make this a bit more viable. Beautiful stuff. I have to yank my mouse like all the way across my mouse mat to face behind me. My sensitivity is so low. Fuse box. I think that killed me last time, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that this time. Ooh. Guaranteed crit site, I do like. I do like guaranteed crits. Right, I think we'll go back to our teleporter, which was... I don't remember where, actually. Down there, wasn't it? So I think, I think actually, a pretty good strategy. If I do a straight down jump, and then a... Yes, there it is, baby. So a straight down and then a detonate. That combo is so beautiful. <laughs> Good. Just to open up these two. Hey, we got another anchor as well. Slightly magnetic and gain crit chance, lovely. And the anchor increased damage while airborne. So yeah, I just go like this. Boom. And then boom. And I can kind of launch it. I've got to get the, the timing right on it. And I keep sort of, I need to get, I need to remember to let go of W while I'm in the air. Yeah, you go a lot further if you let go of W while you're strafing. It's something you did in TF2. It's a little difficult to get used to, though. But there you go. You can see how you can really gain momentum from doing that if you get the timing right. It's a little d difficult to do, to be honest. Right, good, good. Crit chance are good. Oh my god. That is absurd. Can we get another of these? Lovely. Straight away we go again. Oh man, I'm having a good, good time. Straight away we go to the next stage, baby. Got anything? Uh, 
I see you over there. Get fucking destroyed. <laughs> A few chance shrines about. Oh, that is good. With some bunny hopping in between, that would be beautiful. Buy additional items at multi-shops. Terminals are 75% discounted once per stage. Oh my god. Boom. Detonation. Look at that. Beautiful. Backup magazine for extra detonates. It's good stuff. We're using them quite a bit. I did see someone launch something at me. Beautiful stuff. Alright, give me that big chest again. Oh man, the blast radius on that is beautiful. 239 on that. Who the hell's shooting me? That's you. And I've got someone over this way. Come on, still can't get this yet. That's got to be enough, right? There you go, baby. Hey, Wax Quail seems pretty goddamn incredible for us right now. Get that extra bit of oomph. It's also just nice moving around. Ah, oh, missed my market gardener. Ah, oh, dude, I keep missing. I'm also taking a ton of damage here. Wow. When I say a ton, I mean a fucking ton. Holy shit, it's the fire guy that's getting me. There we go. We finally got one of them. Sticky Bomb's kind of an interesting play with this. There you go. Always crits makes this easier. And where where else are we going next? Over to that terminal because we get that discount and we can buy multiples from them. Ah, <laughs> oh, I buggered it. <laughs> I've really got to learn to do that right. Right, so. There we go. Feels good when you get it right. Very, not very nice. Take these guys out. I would love, love some faster fire rate, though. I'll say that for sure. Fire rate's okay, but it could definitely be better. Another mimic, lovely. Another chest there. Beautiful stuff. Here's a teleporter. Barrier effect. There's just so much barrier effect things. It's crazy. We get some savings here as well. We've got a terminal over there, I think, as well. The long distance kabooms are really where it's at. There's a few invisible ones of these guys, but they're kind of easy to see, to be honest. But there's that terminal. War banner. Nice. And then I think we'll just go straight for the teleporter event here. Oh, I didn't really think about using my R ability and exploding them all. It kind of makes more sense, to be honest, doesn't it? Right. Do this. Pop my Q. Easy. And then over to this guy. Oh man, killing bosses is so unbelievably satisfying. We got a blue portal there. Get permanent armor on kill. Very nice. And I think we'll just go and smash this a bunch of times, see what we get. And we'll go straight through here, I think. Lovely stuff. Wah, wah, wah. This might be my favorite character I've played thus far. This, this, this guy is just an insane amount of fun. By the way, I do apologize. My voice sounds a bit weird. I am I'm a little bit ill at the moment. I feel fine, but like I'm a bit blocked up and stuff. Right, what we got going on in here? 
extra damage, breaks at low HP, gain gold over time, instant heal. Uh, I think we'll go for this, won't we? Lovely stuff. Beautiful teddy bears. What we got going on here? What's this do? Like a pick up a paint or something? Um, how, how important are our green items to us, to be honest? I'm going to go for it. I, we lose our wax quail, but we gain... The utility skill gains more mobility. My utility skill gains more mobility. Which one's my utility skill? Oh! So after, after using my market gardener, I get a massive speed boost. That's pretty nice. Probably, it's probably not what I call a red item for this character, but for other characters I can see that being really good. But it is still good for this character because it just means that I can market gardener and then make a speedy escape. Sundered Grove, Sunny. Well, the Sunny version of this stage looks amazing. A few of these guys rocking about the place. Ah, I see there's a lot going on here. Right. Let's make my way over towards this guy. Good, got you. It's a bit a bit tricky to fight this guy, but I'm trying my best. Okay, we got him nice. I see there's a, a dude racing around at the literal speed of light over there. I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but I will try and kill him eventually. He doesn't seem too interested in actually attacking me, though. And then we got a void item here. This little fella. Oddly shaped opals. Um, reduce damage temporarily after getting hit. Yeah, I'll give that a go. Why not? Oh, hello, go. How about you? Would you like to... Oh, dude. Our, uh, our actual buddy got corrupted. I didn't know that could happen. Good. My god. It's kind of a tricky situation we got going on here. Yeah, I didn't know he could get corrupted. That's kind of interesting, look. He, he is attacking me, though, which is weird. Okay. I've got to kill this snake guy at some point. I think I hit one of my market gardener there. I don't know if it did much damage, though. He's very low on health. The little dudes are really annoying. Right, we've got zero monsters left. Nice. We cleared that out nicely. Is that regenerative scrap? Looks like it. I got bled by something. Dude, bugger off! I just want to pick up the goddamn item. Right, what item was this? Cause a uh, chance to cause temporal echoes of attacks. Ooh. We got this here as well. Increase movement speed, sprint speed, and jump high. Ooh, that seems good for us. Boom. These little dudes are like a right pain, you know. At least we do insane damage to them, though, to be fair. Right, another one of these over here. Do we want to open that up? I'm not sure. Easy. Um, I don't know if that's really going to do much for us. We've not got any lens makers right now, so I'll take it. And we've got ways of guaranteed crits anyways, so I think we can take that pretty safely. Right. Make our way up here. Anything in there? Nope. Ignore you. Oop, another void thing. Dude, the void items have been crazy. Right. Um, damage, drop damaging wisps allies on using skills. Yeah? 
Sounds good to me. But not pixie tubes even now, so I'll take it. Let's take some drones while we're at it. In case we find something that requires it. Beautiful stuff. That movement speed boost we get after Market Gardener, I need to be aware of more often. It's an insane movement speed boost. Look at that. It allows us to propel ourselves a lot further, and if we're not actively using our Market Gardener at the time, it just makes sense. Like, we pop it, and then go like that, and just look at the speed that we can gain. We've got our legendary crate down here, as well as this. Kills reduce equipment cooldown. Okay, we like that. We like that. Right, where are we looking at for the actual teleporter? It's here. Okay, nice. That was a pretty easily answered question. Okay. Go, go, go. And then we go... Boom. Agent Wisps, where are you? Ancient Wisps, where are you? Uh. That's not what I thought the Ancient Wisp was. I kind of wasted my active there, because I didn't realize what I was looking for. He's he's new. He's new to me. Doesn't mean he isn't going to get slapped. There you go. As I said, slapped. Ooh, yes. Can we give us a bear some movement speed? Lovely. Oh my god. I'm liking this. Chests over there as well. Is that a big chest? It is. Legendary? Ah. Oh, that's good though. We like that. Okay. Where do we go straight away? This has been a wonderful run so far. Much better than the first one. Much better than the first one. Right, where do we go from here? Equipment thing here. The bulwark begins to falter. I do not know what that means at all. We got some thing down here. Oh, gonna get that damage. Ooh, herpu feather seems like it could be pretty good for us. How much do we need? We got enough. Nice one. Herpu feather seems pretty useful for us here. Because it means we can do that and then carry the momentum on. Also as well... Um, we've got a dove, don't we? A wax quail, is it? No, maybe we don't. I don't know, but we're getting a lot of momentum in the air while we're jumping, you see? I think that's because of a mod that I have that basically fixes some momentum issues with the game. Like, the default game has some weird momentum cancelling issues, and I've got a mod that's supposed to fix that, and it seems to be affecting this as well. Good, good. I feel like we're very, very mobile now. Fire Hornet Skulls when healed. Not bad, not bad. I don't like these fellas. Those guys annoy me. But yeah, look at that, like, when we jump, dude. The speed that we get off of a, off of a rocket jump. Like, if I just do a normal jump, I don't go that far. But if I do a rocket jump and then that, I, I carry my momentum so much further. It's very nice. Hope you feather was a very good choice. Beautiful. I really apologize about the sniveling of my nose, by the way. I'm trying to avoid it when I can, but it can't always be done. How much we need for this? 321. Good. Ooh. The portion armor plate is not bad. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. I knew it would do damage to me, but I wasn't expecting it to be that much. Quite a few bits and bobs over here. Quickly check up here. <laughs> you see that market garden? That was fucking incredible. Ooh, squid polyp. Not the best thing in the world. What's this tree? I don't recognize that tree. One item. 
I tried to offer it, but it didn't work. Must be a specific item it needs. Right. There's a big chest over here. I think I'm going to grab that and take the teleporter out of here. I'm quite a bit faster, though. The storm's approaching. It's getting a lot darker around here. Why have I only got these guys? Is that something to do with the bulwark thing that came up? They're giving me a good amount of money, though. That's kind of good, yeah. We'll take that. I'm going to go and do the boss. We'll activate this first. And let's do the boss fight. I literally have no idea what the boss is. Oh, is it just a bunch of these? I think it is. Yes, it is. Interesting. I don't know why the stage was just these guys. But they're almost dead. I can't tell which ones are the boss and which ones aren't. There's so many of them. Oh, my thing leveled up. Nice. It's that one, isn't it? There you go. We got it. Right. Oh, where we go. That was a weird stage. Only one type of enemy, pretty much. And it was a confusing type at that. We may never know what the hell was going on there. <laughs> Right, hello, big boss man. This this is all about speed now, so... Oh, look at that! And we market garden him. I don't care about your blast. Doesn't bother me, boy. Let me open up a few things here and there. Oh my god. Let me grab some money off of this. Wasn't actually that much. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Three times in a row we got the damage blocked on that thing. It was amazing. That was amazing. Right. Where's the teleporter at? We're good to go. wonder what I can get to increase explosion radius. There it is. There's a few more chests about here. We'll grab them when we see them. 2,000 damage on that guy. There's a uh, try thing over there, look. Beautiful. Made it straight up. Extra damage to bosses, I think that's perfect. I don't see anything in the close vicinity. Do the boss. Boop. With Hopu Feather, I can stay in the air long enough to use my Market Gardener again, I think. That's amazing. The speed now that we can, like, move around, it just makes it so much more enjoyable. And then item-wise, another Hopu Feather. Boy. This thing just broke itself wide open. This thing broke itself wide open. It looks straight for the teleporter. Do we see it? I don't think I see it at the moment. Grove Tender over there, though. We'll go say hello to him. There it is, I see it. And then watch. Oh, do, 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 do. Boom! Get shit on, boy! And again, boom. You dead, fam. Right, quickly go back and get that big chest up there. Gimme, gimme. Increased damage is obviously very good. We barely need the rocket jumping anymore, I'll be honest. <laughs> but I still like doing it. 
Detonate on jump. That seems useful. Imagine getting a few of those. Yeah, not got too many of these guys to handle. We did take quite a lot of damage there, so be careful. Yeah, very much not invincible. We've got a storm coming in as well, which doesn't bird well. How did that not hit you then? The market garden didn't hit him properly. Hello, Salamander boy. Holy shit, man. What is going on right now? Getting in there to market garden is getting rather treacherous, I'll be honest. Also, the storm is making visibility. Very low. I'm getting a lot of healing while I'm near the teleporter, to be honest, so it's kind of good to stay in that radius. It's just very hard to focus on what the hell's going on right now, I'll be honest. I got frozen in the middle of all that, apparently. Oh, it's because I killed this frozen guy, the glacier dude. Enemies are just kind of tanky now, though, aren't they? There you go. Grab that. Good old urn. I'll be off, thank you. Wait, did I not press the teleport? Okay, I did. <laughs> I thought I didn't press the teleport for a second there. I was just running off into the sunset. Oh, hello. And kaboom. Oh, you bloody shithead. I don't know what the hell that thing is there. With the little, oh, but it's one of the squid guys, actually, I just realised. Oh my god. I'm zooming, man, I'm zooming. This guy keeps moving out of the way of all my shots as well. Did I kill the boss at any point during all that? I don't actually know. Back up here. We got we got plenty of money out of all of that, so back up here. A few chests, why not? Don't really need them at this point, I don't think, but you never know what you could get. Ooh, is that a ceremonial dagger? No, it's a skateboard. Some sort of skateboard. Sprint in any direction. Using skills makes you faster. I like that. ATG missile launcher, I like that too. Oh, dude. With the Market Gardener now, we're just speeding along. Right. Teleporter's over there. Right. Good, good, good. Ah, this guy. Every time I go to Market Gardener, he teleports away, the bitch. Apparently, I took a lot of damage there. Very, very careful, but at the minute I'm very airborne, as in, like, I, I very rarely have to move out of the air. Got one of them. The amount of movement speed I've gained. I told you movement speed would be the key. Beautiful stuff. And celestial portal right here. I think we did a good job of that one. I think we did a good job of that one indeed. What a fun run. What a fun run that was. So we, what, what we do here is we get in line, we market garden, and then we do this. And we should be able to hold enough momentum to at least get to one of these islands. No, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I thought I would have made that. My bad. My bad. Block that damage, though. Right, try that again. Right, 
fire off four rockets to get the movement speed going from that. Market garden. Do that. I don't know, I'm losing a lot of momentum off my jumps at the moment, so... Yeah, it doesn't quite work. I really want to make it, though. <laughs> Just to prove we can. It's, it's a rocket jumping character. I can't go the intended path. I can't go the intended path. Right. No! God damn it! I, I need to market garden at exactly the right time. Well, it doesn't really work. There you go, we did it. Hell yes. <laughs> that feels good. This was a super, super fun character. Obliteration. Love that. What a fun character. I hope you guys did enjoy. This was a really, really fun uh, episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.